Listen up, if you're a musician and you want to take your music career all the way to the top, but you're a little bit stuck with what direction to take your brand, then watch the rest of this video. Get that, bet that, jump shot, wet that, post moves, no rules, chef that, no boo, get that. What's going on? I'm Leezy the Gifted. I'm a rapper and producer and I've been doing music for about nine years now. This video is for anybody who's getting started with music. You know you're serious about music. You're super passionate. You have the work ethic. You have the drive, but you're having a little bit of trouble figuring out what direction to go in. And obviously you want to gain a fan base and then create music as an income. So I'm here to help you out. Get started with branding. What the heck is branding? It's a fancy buzzword. I'm going to give you the regular textbook definition. Basically branding, it's a visual representation of an entity basically a logo when you see the Apple sign you know what that is that's for Apple when you see the coca-cola logo you know that's coca-cola so on and so forth Lizzie's definition my definition basically it's a visual representation of a message so why exactly is your message so important? Well, if you want to monetize your brand, you need to portray a certain type of message to the people that you want to buy your stuff. People don't buy from brands. We buy from people. We buy stories. We buy messages. We buy things that resonate with us right? You buy whatever shoes you buy because you love the brand and the messaging that goes along with it. Nike slogan, just do it. it. It just means just do it. Just get out there. Just get started, right? And people resonate with that. That's why people buy Nike. People buy Apple computers and iPhones and iPads and AirPods and all that stuff because of Apple's branding. They started with the why. There's actually a really cool TED talk by this guy named Simon Sinek, which is start with the why. And basically start with the why somebody needs what you're trying to sell. Them, basically so when it comes to messaging how do you think of your messaging think about your life think about the identity that you want to portray think about stories from your life think about how you're living think about your goals think about your personality that's the biggest thing take your personality right you know for example with me I'm big on energy like I have I, I'm a type a extrovert so I, I bring a lot of energy a lot of my songs portray that I like to put myself out there I love talking I like video I'm on video right now my message is all about get out there pursue your goals like that's my whole thing inspiration inspiration we have a clothing brand called gifted by choice which just basically means we all have a gift, but it's our choice to pursue that gift through hard work, passion, and dedication. So my messaging is all about you having a gift. You have a talent. So I'm all about inspire, 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 educate, take you from one place to another in your life. That's my thing. Somebody like Travis Scott, his branding is completely different than mine. Travis Scott has sort of a rock star lifestyle, exciting brand kind of going on, right? Drake, very like luxury, elegance, like smooth, like just certain things like that. Just take whatever it is that you relate to the most and put that out there. Now, in terms in terms of how to get your message out there, what's awesome is we are in a gold rush in this day and age in 2020. We've got so many different outlets all in the palm of our hand. We've got social media, we have Instagram, we have Twitter, we have Facebook, we've got TikTok now is a huge platform that's blowing up that if you're not on TikTok, by the way, you need to be on TikTok. If you want to follow me on TikTok, by the way, Lazy the Gifted, uh, shameless plug. But there's all these different ways that you can get your message out there. We also have podcasts, we have blogging, we have YouTube, we have video. So instead of thinking too much about planning, 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 just start talking. That's my whole thing. Don't think too much. Just quick thought. What's my personality like? What type of people do I want to go after? And then just start going. Go on Facebook Live, Instagram Live, make a podcast, right? You can use this thing called anchor.fm, which is that's what I use. You upload your stuff to there and then it sends it out to all the podcast networks blogging you could use medium.com right there's just all these different ways to get your message out there now when it comes to all these different ways to get your message out there the one thing that I urge for you to remember is build good will now we all love to talk about ourselves I'll be the first one to tell you I love talking about myself but when you're putting out content it's super crucial that you focus on the end user the consumer your fan like I keep saying in this video you 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 I'm looking into this camera I'm not sitting here thinking about I'm gonna be saying this to a thousand people I'm talking to you right now you watching you the single person watching this video that's the frame of mind I'm in not to brag but you know I have a social media agency it's called prophecy media follow us on Instagram and I have a client right now that I'm consulting with. Basically, he pays me to meet up with me and I give him advice on what to do with his brand. The way that I talk to him is the same way I'm talking to you right now. It's the exact same. I'm just giving you a big overview of everything. So just remember, build good 
will. If you want to get engagement, which you do, you want to get engagement on social media, you want your content to be seen, to be heard, to be appreciated, then you need to show appreciation to other people's content. You can find so many different ways to show appreciation. It's easy. You could, you could, you know, you could take the Gary V strategy. I think it's called his dollar 80 strategy, right? You take nine different hashtags and you comment on nine different of the recent pictures and you comment something of value. And this is on Instagram. I'm a pr producer. So I constantly do hashtag indie rappers, find rappers. I listen to their video or listen to their videos, listen to their music real quick, send them a comment, right? Send them a like, probably hit the follow button. That's one way that I've really been able to build my following. And I do it genuinely. And every time they post, I like and I comment. Then when I post a video, I get likes and comments. It, it's a back and forth. When it comes to like getting your messaging out there, it's all about building good will. Okay, so another tip from Gary V that I learned, by the way, Gary V, if you don't follow him, I'm sure you do, but if you don't, go check him out, he's incredible. But jab, 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 right hook. Jab, 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 right hook. Jab, 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 right hook. Basically, it came from his book, Jab, 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 Right Hook. It's basically a textbook on how to post stuff on social media. The concept of a jab is free value. This video is a jab for me. And you're supposed to do a ton of jabs. The right hook, that's the sale. That's where you're basically asking people for something, usually in exchange for money. With you and your brand, right? You're here trying to build yourself up as somebody who jabs a lot. All those different little content ideas I just gave you, that's jabbing. The comments on people's uh, Instagram posts, that's jabbing. Now, jab, jab, jab. Three jabs and a right hook? Honestly, probably not three. That's not enough. You need to jab for a really long time time. You look at what Gary V does. Gary V's got all these different businesses. He's got his wine thing, Empathy Wines. He's got a shoe deal, K-Swiss. He's got a uh, media company. He has books that he's written. How does he get people to buy his stuff? Dude, look how much content he posts. I think he posts a hundred pieces of content per day that inspires people. He gives people free advice all the time all the time at his live events. The reason he does that, he knows what he's doing. He's trying to guilt people so much that when he puts out something, people are like, dude, I'm gonna buy from this dude just because he's given me so much. And guess what? I've bought his books because of that. Because I got so much free value from him. I was like, dude, I gotta buy this dude's book. So that's basically how it works. Now, for you, you could take what Gary Vee does and apply that to you. This is what I want you to understand. And I'm so desperate for people to get this and nobody gets this, I feel like. I don't think enough of us understand. Stop trying to be a rapper. Don't just try to be a producer. You're way more than that. You're a brand. You are Coca-Cola. You're Apple. You're a business. Business breathes on money. If you want to be a business, you have to get some money. To get money, you have to provide value. That's jabbing. Obviously, the right hook is how you get the money, but I just want you to think about this. Break out of the mindset that I'm selling music because you're not selling music. You're not selling music. If you're going to sit here and tell me that your whole business is going to be based on streaming revenue, you're going to be broke for a really, really really long time, right? The other way that a lot of artists make money is touring. That's great, but if you're trying to build a fan base, how can you tour? You have nowhere to go, right? Well, I get that. I've been in that position where I don't, I don't have places to go. I still am. I don't have places to go tour around the world yet. I'm still building that fan base. But there are other ways for you to monetize your brand because you're gonna start thinking of yourself as more than just a musician, right? You're gonna start thinking of yourself as more than just a producer, a rapper, a guitar player, a singer. You're more than that. You're a brand, you're a business. I wanna ask you one question, one favor. If you wanna know how to actually monetize your brand and you need ideas for what you can sell people, what are those right hooks gonna be? Do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment below. Comment, how do I monetize? Or comment, Leezy, I need help figuring out how to get money, how do I do that? Comment below and, I, and, and, and I'll make a video for it because I think it's important, but I wanna know if you think it's important, okay? All right, so what we learned today is what is branding, the messaging of your brand, building goodwill, and we learned about Gary V's strategy of jab, 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 right hook. If you got any value from this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss any more of the videos. I'm gonna be doing a video every single week in 2020 and I do not want you to miss anything. This is all free stuff for you. You can go take it, do whatever you want with it. And if you wanna hear more from me, go on Instagram, follow me at Lizzy the Gifted. Send me a DM. I always respond to DMs and I appreciate you so much for watching the video. I'll see you next week. Peace.